Cats, like people, are prone to skin irritations. While they can often be treated with ointments and creams, an abscess can form if an irritation worsens or if bacteria invades the skin. An abscess can also occur when a cat becomes infected from a variety of injuries and can be found on virtually any part of an animal's body. It is important to note that while surface wounds are fairly common in pets, they can become problematic if they are infected and are left untreated. The simple description of an abscess is a pocket of pus located somewhere in the body. Abscesses are typically described by where they are located in the body. For instance, a tooth root abscess occurs at the tip of a tooth root, and a subcutaneous abscess occurs under the skin. Typically, an abscess appears suddenly as a painful swelling, if it is not located inside a body cavity or deep within tissue, that may be either firm to the touch or compressible like a water balloon. The abscess may be large or small, will often cause redness if it is under the skin, and may cause local tissue destruction. Some abscesses will rupture, discharging a foul-smelling secretion. Should the abscess be located inside the body, the fever would be expected, and there may be the additional complication of a widespread internal infection or bacteria in the bloodstream if the abscess has ruptured internally. What to expect at the veterinarian? When you arrive at the veterinarian with your cat, the vet will typically perform a thorough evaluation of the abscess and your cat's overall health. If the abscess is open and draining, then your veterinarian vet may be able to treat your cat without sedation. But, if the abscess hasn't opened yet, then your veterinarian may have to administer sedation to your pet and lance the abscess. Samples of the pus will be collected and sent to the lab so your veterinarian will be more informed as to which antibiotics will work best against the infection. In some cases, a drain may need to be inserted by the vet to keep the abscess open and draining. It will be important to keep the drain as clean as possible. The vet usually will remove the drain after three days. Once your cat returns home, keep her confined while she heals. Ideally, you will want to keep her somewhere with easy to clean floors and walls, like a bathroom, laundry room, or mud room. Make sure the room is warm and dry and provide your cat with everything she needs to recover comfortably, like a litter box, soft blankets, food, and fresh water. Keep the wound clean by wiping it with a clean cloth soaked in warm water. Keep wiping the site until you remove all the visible pus. Be sure to tell your veterinarian about any medications or supplements your cat is currently taking so your veterinarian may make the best treatment decision for your pet's unique case and help reduce the risk of a potential drug interaction. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Symptoms and Types Cats are most likely to experience abscesses, as they tend to fight with other cats when they roam outdoors, and a fight wound can be susceptible to bacterial infection if not treated. However, animals can also develop infections from relatively minor abrasions. Pastorella multicida is the most common bacteria to cause skin infections. Another cause of skin irritation in pets is the Staphylococcus intermedius, which can usually be treated with topical ointments. However, if either of these bacteria make their way deep into the skin, infection becomes a serious problem. A painful abscess will form in response to the bacterial invasion if the wound is left untreated. Causes of Cat Abscesses The most common types of abscesses in cats are in the mouth and under the skin but abscesses can pop up almost anywhere in or on a cat. Abscesses are usually described by where they appear in the body and are caused by various bacteria including E. coli, certain streptococcus species, pseudomonas, Mycoplasma, Pastorella multicida, Cornibacterium, Actinomyces, Nocardia, Bartonella, Bacteroides, Clostridium, and Fusobacterium. Dental abscesses, characterized by being inside the mouth, dental abscesses are found around diseased teeth. When bacteria builds upon the surface of a tooth, the gums become inflamed which leads to gingivitis. If this bacteria doesn't get removed from tooth brushing or professional dental cleaning, it continues to stick to the tooth, gathers saliva and food debris, and forms plaque and calculus. This can cause abscesses under the gum line. If that bacteria also gets into the root canal of a broken or diseased tooth, such as one with a resorptive lesion, it can cause a tooth root abscess. Dental abscesses are common in cats but may be difficult for the average cat owner to notice. Bite wound abscesses. In order for a cat to develop a bite wound abscess, it needs to be bitten by another animal. This is why bite wound abscesses are most common in cats that spend time outdoors. When a cat gets bit, bacteria enters the wound and an abscess begins to form. These are seen under the skin of cats as lumps and usually aren't noticed by the cat owner until they rupture and begin to ooze pus. 
These abscesses may feel hot to the touch as well as cause skin inflammation. Internal abscesses, unable to be seen from the outside of a cat's body, internal abscesses occur on the internal organs from inflammation, disease, and foreign objects. These are far less common than bite wounds and dental abscesses in cats but still occur. Diagnosis Your veterinarian will take a swab test of the infected area to determine the strain of bacteria present. In addition, a standard blood test will usually be performed to see if the infection has migrated to the bloodstream. Once a proper diagnosis is made, the veterinarian will prescribe an appropriate treatment plan. Treatment Initially, most thin issues can be treated with topical solutions and ointments, but when the issue becomes more serious, such as when the bacteria has gone deep into the tissue or has infected the blood, alternative treatment options will be considered. Your cat will need to be taken to the veterinarian so that the wound can be properly cleaned, drained, and flushed. This will prevent deeper infection and complications. Your veterinarian will also prescribe antibiotics to control the bacteria. If the abscess is serious or deep in the skin, clindamycin may be recommended as a more aggressive mode of treatment. Living in management. If your cat has cuts or wounds, first evaluate whether they are deep or superficial. If they are superficial, there are several pet formulated over-the-counter antibacterial ointments that can be used to help reduce the likelihood of an infection. There are also some dips and shampoos that can treat your cat's entire skin surface. If you take your cat to the veterinarian and a course of antibiotics is prescribed, make sure that you complete the entire course of the prescription to prevent the bacteria from returning. Recovery of abscess in cats. Recovery and prognosis will depend on whether or not the abscess has caused a more serious condition. For most cases of abscess, the prognosis is generally good with immediate treatment. Always follow your vet's post-treatment instructions carefully. Your cat should begin to improve within a few days of treatment, with complete healing typically observed within two weeks. Do not allow your cat to irritate the drain or the surgery site. An Elizabethan collar may help with this. If your vet has prescribed antibiotics, it is imperative that you administer the medication for the entire recommended duration of treatment even if the condition starts to improve. Preventative measures are often advised to avoid future recurrence of abscesses. For dental abscess, good dental hygiene is imperative. This involves brushing your cat's teeth daily, giving them dental treats, and eliminating harmful dental habits such as chewing on hard toys or foods. For skin abscess, it is a good idea to limit your cat's outdoor activity, particularly if they often engage in fights with other cats. Your vet will schedule a follow-up appointment within 2-5 to five days of treatment in order to remove the drain. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.